Doctors of Reddit, what's the biggest case of faking it you've ever seen? Taking trauma call during surgery residency, had a prisoner come in after a fight and claimed he couldn't move or feel his legs. All the court scans and MRIs were normal, but we would shield his legs so he couldn't see them and poke them with needles and other sharp objects with enough force to cause pain he never flinched or moved his legs at all. He was diagnosed with Siwara, spinal cord injury without radiographic abnormality. He stayed in the hospital for a week, no improvement. Always had one guard with him. One night they were down in the lobby watching some television, but the guard needed to use the restroom. The patient said, where could I possibly go? I'm paralyzed. Guard left him alone for two minutes. Patient last seen sprinting down the road, naked but cheeks flapping in the breeze. Made it to a city four hours away by car, before he was caught again. I have never seen anyone fake it so well. Truly playing the long con. We had a patient faking a seizure, so my supervisor told one of us to get the brain needle. The patient made a miraculous and swift recovery without intervention. Dermatologist here. Patient was convinced she had a melanoma and needed a biopsy and would need to be on workers comp. I told her it looked like ink from a marker. She demanded a biopsy. I wiped the area off with an alcohol swab and showed her the ink and that there was no spot on her skin anymore. She stormed out threatening to sue. I'm just glad I cured her melanoma. Young, 18 to 20, woman went running into small rural hospital pretending to have abdominal pain. Police officer had tagged her going 40 plus km over the limit, which was back quote stunt driving as per the new law in Ontario, impound and license suspension automatic. Cop followed her into her and apparently said he'd be waiting for her when she left. Locum staff such as myself were housed at a small BNB about 15 minutes away and the air had pre-printed order, sets to be done before we arrived. When I arrived she flat out admitted that she just came in because she freaked out and didn't stop. I told her we'd give her 45 minutes to call her parents slash family before I booted her. Except, BHCG came back positive and subsequent ultrasound came back showing extremely early ectopic. Officer figures out something is up when he hears air ambulance call coming over radio. She was completely asymptomatic and just worked out that she dodged both charges and a life-threatening issue by accident. It was definitely a WTF moment. Physical therapist here. Working mom comes into the clinic with her infant in a stroller. She's limping like she's got a nail in her foot. Wincing in pain and tears in her eyes. She's crying during her visit with the PT. None of us think she's faking it. She limped out of the clinic. I glanced out of the window and saw this woman bounding down the sidewalk. Hips swaying, full stride, going places. We were all fools. This patient comes in for back pain with weakness of the legs. Gets a full workup with MRI, standard blood work, and then some immunological things to look for stuff like myasthenia gravis. No neurological or immunological explanation for the weakness. Patient is seen by physical therapy and they are of the opinion that the patient is holding back intentionally. Go to see the patient at the end of the day and prep them for discharge. Patient is infuriated that they are being discharged. Yelling and screaming about how they aren't better, how they are disappointed in the institution, blah blah blah. They said one particular thing that still clearly stands out three to four years later. I can't believe you're sending me home already. I haven't even told my family I'm here, and now you're going to send me home, before they even have the chance to see me, my attending and I leave the room, to arrange things with the nurses. We go back in, and the patient is out of bed, and standing up in the middle of the room. Miraculously the patient is able to walk with zero assistance when they had so much difficulty with any assistance over the previous two days. At that point, they were enraged, was enraged we went into the room without knocking. They were discharged home after a conversation regarding abuse of medical services. My brother was an EMT for two years and he told me this 
people will try to use the ambulance as a means for transportation from Fulton to Oswego because the hospital is in Oswego by faking seizures. Sometimes when the head EMT guy was feeling fun and knew that the person was faking, he'd say something like man it's weird that he's having seizures but not peeing himself. Apparently the person would kind of snap out of it for a second, weigh up the repercussions, then either pee themselves or stop faking. I thought that was hilarious. Had a patient when I was an intern feigning blindness. She would constantly be playing on her smartphone, only furiously trying to hide it when someone from the care team came into her room. The best was when my attending one day strolled PSG her room and threw his hand up in a highly exaggerated back quote hella wave. She started to throw her arm up too, but caught herself halfway through, then threw her hand back into her lap and pretended to be back quote staring off into nothing. A patient claimed to have all kinds of illnesses and would cough every minute or so. Have you tried coughing when you don't need to? It's like a normal cough, but you take the subwoofer away. Now imagine that, but 10 times more fake. Not a doctor, but am a UK based midwife. Had a patient who had been in and out of hospital throughout her pregnancy with episodes of heavy bleeding. This was her sixth baby, so she was a fairly well known patient in our unit. The issue was no one had ever seen her actively bleeding, she'd call saying that she had bled down the toilet but flushed it, and all the examinations we did came back completely normal with mostly no evidence of any bleed whatsoever, on occasions during speculum examinations we'd see the smallest amount of blood. I was caring for her during a shift where she yet again called to say she was bleeding, walked into her room, and found her jabbing around her vagina with a sharp object to make herself bleed. She had been doing it the entire pregnancy, the reason she gave, because she had five noisy children at home, needed some rest, and knew we wouldn't admit her to hospital, if it wasn't for a good reason. She would do it any time her being discharged home was mentioned. We ended up having to complete a perinatal mental health referral and consult with the safeguarding midwives as she was putting herself and baby at risk of serious harm. Nurse for an ophthalmologist here. Had a 21 year old new patient claiming to be completely blind from a sudden and severe glaucoma diagnosis from a previous unknown doctor. Would feel around while walking. Tried to keep eyes rolled back into his head. The whole 9 yards. He said he is a famous YouTube rapper that is now unable to make videos or earn a living. I exclaimed to have heard of him before and very excitedly asked him to search and show me his YouTube channel on my phone so that I could subscribe. He took my phone out of my hand and effortless found the YouTube app and typed away in the search bar. Oh, and of course his eyes were back to normal and focused. One time my roommate, who is an IQ nurse, came to see one of my indoor soccer games. During the game a player on the other team went down hurt and starting screaming in pain and swearing and rolling around while holding his ankle before he was eventually helped off the field. He then limped over to where the fans sat and watched the rest of the game brooding in silence before he left early. After the game my roommate told me he was going to go over and see if there was anything he could do to help until he saw that the guy was limping on the wrong leg. Ophthalmology technician. People pretend to be blind all the time. Go to check their eye pressure with the tonopin, a device you poke them directly into the eye with, and they go what the fuck is that thing? Guy came to her, I was a nurse at the time, for stomachache when asking him about history he randomly mentions a fight with his girlfriend, where she left in a tizzy and he fell asleep on the couch 20 minutes later, when we see the court, he has a satellite cable remote wrapped in a condom lodged in his rectum. I suppose he intended to frame her. Didn't get to hear the conversation he had with the doctor. I was curious how he was going to explain why she was nice enough to wrap it in the condom. Not a doctor, but I was in the air one night and there was a seeking drug addict who literally only acted in pain when there was staff around. 
you ever see those videos where the little kid is fine and then they spot a parent and then will then immediately stop and be fine when the parent is out of view? Exactly like that. Sat fine, no movements or wincing, or noises then wailing, when a nurse was in the same vicinity, then back to fine when they left. I remember I faked it, when my brother got glasses, because I thought they were cool. Turns out I actually needed glasses. They found an astigmatism in my eyes. Who knew?